hello and welcome to all of our viewers around the world. I'm Fiona Langsharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold. Welcome to you joining us today. We've got one of my very special people here, Dr. Wendy Jones. It's so good to have you back here at Gold. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you, Fiona. It's really lovely to see you again. <laughs> So Wendy and I have been working together, I feel, for a few years now, and uh, it's always lovely to catch up with what, what's happening in uh, Wendy's life. Um, always some just wonderful things. You need to go over to the website and definitely read her bio because it's really packed out with things. Wendy, you have been very busy for many years, and even in your sort of retired years, you're still very busy. I love what you do, but would you share a little bit about what you are doing now and, and kind of how you got to this point in your life? It's really strange because uh, last week I went to have my summer upgrade COVID vaccine mm -hmm. and it happened to be in the pharmacy where I wrote the very original drugs in breast milk information oh, wow. back in 1995. <laughs> and I got it out and looked at how how little data there was, how, how little I'd got to actually say. Um, and it was published and given to healthcare professionals as an incentive to join a charity, National Childbirth Trust, as it was then. Right. And um, then I've kind of, it's drugs and breast milk has taken over my whole life. It did um, take over I, your whole life. <laughs> good to have have a passion <laughs> totally and, and totally. my my kids have taken it on as well so yeah I kind of I gave up full-time work and I left the charity that I was working with the breastfeeding network, network yes. a year ago now yep yeah. and we were taking 10,000 messages a year um, asking <sighs> about the safety of drugs in breast milk from all wow. over the world um, so I've now I handed over to twelve pharmacists, and I believe they may now have doubled in number. And uh, so, yeah, it's good that they can take the routine stuff. Whereas I've been writing the more unusual things, like how to treat varicose veins when you're breastfeeding. Oh wow! And using weight loss drugs and things like that. Oh yes. So I still keep working and That's still great. writing stuff. Um, <laughs> So you've One been day, busy. maybe I'll return. Yeah, I'd, and, <laughs> and, you know, in between time, taking look, looking after the grandchildren. Exactly. Busy with your, how many do you have now? Seven, I think it says seven. here. Seven it's grandchildren. Seven. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so if you haven't guessed it yet, um, Wendy Jones is a pharmacist and in the UK and is very passionate about medications and mother's breast milk. And has worked extensively with, again, with your charity, uh, Breastfeeding a Network in the UK, and now has written many books on the subject matter, because it really just, it took on its the world of its own. And I think partly because you, you've you often said to me, Wendy, that, you know, you just have such a passion to make sure that people get the right information because the information has always been so short. So part of your presentation really was talking about that. It, it There still just isn't enough, even though we do have better and newer resources, but we're still behind. We still are hearing stories of parents and mothers who stop breastfeeding because they have been prescribed a medication. So misinformation is still definitely out there. Um, Wendy, Absolutely. this is what's going to keep driving you, right? This is what's going to keep I, keep you going. I, I joked in the past that I would be buried with a, um, an iPhone and, and an aerial <laughs> out of the grave to go and, and ask the question. But it, it, it just frustrates me that, that we still have so many barriers and right. so many people not understanding how important it is and, and how devastating it can be to somebody told that you need to stop well, actually could be really harmful because mm, that's right stopping breastfeeding instantly is putting you at risk of mastitis and there is this mental thing of when you stop breastfeeding you've lost the oxytocin and I still wear my oxytocin necklace um, <laughs> you've lost you've lost all of that yeah and have if that wasn't necessary how do you feel afterwards yeah that yeah that can be a memory that you you take long term 
Yeah, absolutely. So I'm seeing here, so I'm just going to tell folks the books that are available right now are breastfeeding and medication, breastfeeding for dads grandma and grandmas and why mother's medication matters. Um, and also you co-edited with um, Professor Amy Brown, um, a book as well for breastfeeding and medical professionals. And of course, you self-published Breastfeeding and Chronic Medical Conditions in 2020. So you've been busy writing. Are you still writing, Wendy? Yeah, I keep promising that there's one to come. I'm not sure whether it will make it into a book or I'm going to make it into a database or a Google oh, document or interesting. something, but just to pull everything together. I I, yeah. I did keep saying that I was going to retire one of these days, but what would I do with the rest of my life? <laughs> well, it seems like, you know, retirement is different for everyone. You re have retired from certain things, but you continue to work extensively in the community and providing resources. And of course, speaking here at Gold, which is absolutely fabulous. Coming up, you're going to be speaking at an as part of our Gold Neonatal Conference. You can check out the details over on goldneonatal.com. Um, talking about medication and breast milk in the NICU. And this is something that you know you 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 are speaking about, and that's because you've had some actually some hands-on experience, some personal experience um through your family, in fact. Mm. Yeah, it's right at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, in May 2020, my daughter gave birth to a three and a half pound baby who was born at 35 weeks and was in NICU. And the hardest part of my life was because I'm um, immunocompromised, I wasn't allowed to go and see them. Right. Um, so, and, you know, I was just on the end of the phone. But I learned a lot from her and have been able to share some of the pictures Um uh, with her but she's now three years old and, and adorable and I also used the experiences of a lot of women who responded to me on Facebook who wanted That's to tell right. their stories as well yeah um, so I'm hopefully it's partly factual partly emotional yeah yeah absolutely we were talking about the importance and the value behind learning from those who are in the NICU. I think this is something that we continue to want to know more about um, because the experience of those that are there, really, it tells the story of what's needed. You know, for so long, you know, our NICUs really have been underserved in so many ways for, you know, an extensive amount of time, um, unable to make changes. And now here we are years later and we want to make those changes to make sure that our families are safe, that they are included, that they feel welcomed, that their choices are respected. And of course, for those little ones that we're determined to make sure that they get the breast milk that they deserve. That's, I think that's the key thing that you talk about, you know, really in your presentation. And it can be a very small amount, but the, the, that amount matters to every baby, um, you know, especially when they, they would end up in the NICU. Absolutely. And it's, yeah, breast milk does matter, that liquid gold that we're trying to do. And whilst as an individual, you may be doing the best job in the world. Sometimes we're working alongside people who aren't doing quite so brilliantly and need to keep reminding them of, of best practice too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much to, again, your dedication um, to this area, please don't stop. You are so loved, and, um, you know, and you you provide so many ways for folks to learn. I think that's the key thing that I always take away from you, Wendy, is that you just have such an array of skills when it comes to educating, um, so much compassion as well um, for professionals. I mean, I, you know, have always been in your midst as a professional and, and I've just enjoyed so much um, learning from you and, and the way that you can really um, find, find a way to communicate the importance and to continue that walk, you know, that important walk of the message to carry it forward to all of those that are working in, professional settings to make sure that they are staying up to date with all the latest information. So thank you again, uh, Dr. Wendy Jones, for joining me here today. Thank you. And thank you for Gold for le letting me pass this message on today. Yeah, thank you. So you heard it here, folks. Uh, come on board to our 
um, we've got our add-on package here at Gold Learning uh, and Gold Neonatal. You can join us here for medication and breast milk in the NICU. Thank you again to Wendy Jones for joining us here today and to all of our viewers. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.